my dear brothers and sisters, I greet you in the wonderful and precious, gracious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who loved us and who still loves us with an eternal love. And I pray that in this few minutes that I am spending with you will be a blessing to you and you will be challenged and be blessed as well. The New Testament, especially in the Gospels, talk about violent faith. In the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, Jesus said to his disciples, From the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and violent people enter into it. Violent faith is the faith which refuses, the, refuses to quit. It is the faith which gets what one needs. Those who exercise a violent faith will never go back empty. Violent faith is the faith which overcomes all and any obstacles on the way. It is a faith that overcomes and uh, defies existing rules and laws which may try to stop you. It is a faith which defies protocol and uh, decorums and go ahead refusing to yield to pressures of any kind. It is the faith which receives much more than you ask. In the Bible, both in the Old Testament and New Testament, there are few examples of men and women who exercise such violent faith which refuses to take a no. The first example we find in the book of Genesis, chapter 32. Read that chapter about Jacob and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the night and they were in a wrestling match and there came a moment to when the angel told Jacob Jacob you leave me I am going what did Jacob say no I will not leave you unless you bless me. That is violent faith. See, Jacob could not fight any longer because you remember the angel of the Lord dislocated his hip bone and he couldn't even stand or how he managed to remain there, I don't know. But his heart's desire was to be blessed by the Lord. What was the blessing he was seeking? Not material blessing. He was tremendously blessed materially as he was returning home after 20 years. He had plenty of uh, sheep and cattle and donkeys and, and uh, silver and gold and all kinds of riches he had. He was like a small king. So apparently material blessings is not the genuine real blessing that one must seek. He was not seeking for any material blessing. He wanted to be blessings from the Lord which will transform him into a new person from what he was. In relationship with Jesus Christ, there were some inner changes that must happen. And that is what happened to Jacob. Read that chapter and learn what it means to be, to exercise violent faith. In the New Testament, there is a woman in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 22, who was suffering from a disease of a issue, uh, uh, losing blood issue of blood for 12 long years and this woman's faith was a violent faith that faith overcame 
a number of hurdles on her way. Number one, the law itself was against her. No unclean person, anyone who has an issue of blood was considered to be an unclean person and uh, no unclean person was to be seen in public. And so that law was against her. She defied that law in getting to Jesus. And then her financial status, as far as finances were concerned, she was reduced to zero because she spent everything she had on doctors who ultimately told her, we did everything we could, there is nothing more we can do. So you take care of yourself. And then her physical condition. For 12 years, a woman losing blood, you know, that was not an easy thing. That means life is in the blood. And when she kept on losing that blood, life was ebbing away. She may have had to drag herself to get to Jesus. But she would not allow anything to hinder her from coming to Jesus. That is a violent faith. And then in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 15, we see a Canaanite woman, not a Jewess, but a Canaanite woman, coming to Jesus on behalf of her daughter, pleading with Jesus. And Jesus did not even notice her in the beginning, to begin with. And she would not speak a word. And ultimately, when she, he spoke something, it was not very encouraging. He, uh, she almost compared her to a dog. But she said, even dogs has the right to eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. She refused to leave that spot until Jesus saw her faith and commitment she became a worshipper of him as she knelt before him after hearing all that. And she went away receiving what she came for. And then we read about Zacchaeus in the Gospel of God. He said, Luke chapter 19. Here is, a sh here is a short man. There are many things against him. He was a Jew employed by the Roman government. Therefore, the Jewish people, especially religious, religious leaders, uh, hated him. And, uh, but he heard about Jesus, he wanted to get to Jesus to know who this Jesus was, to see him. But his size was against him, his status among the Jews was against him, people did not like him, they hated him, but he would not give up. He ran ahead of Jesus and climbed on a tree and sitting there wanting to see Jesus. Then the rest is history. My brothers and sisters, here is a kind of faith that will give you from God, by God, what you desire. As long as that desire is for the glory of God. Jesus honors that kind of faith. And may the Holy Spirit and the Word of God gives you that faith and receive what you are longing for, for his glory. Amen.